in the world could you get a 118 out of that? That's ridiculous. That's terrible. That's a terrible decision. He gets the opportunity. He performs like that and beats the champion in his own backyard and gets absolutely robbed. Lewis is still champion, but Walcott's handlers do not believe it, and many of the crowd of about 17,000 don't believe it either. And this year, this year to Olympic gold. My dream's been shattered now. But you know what? I have a big career ahead of me. I was a fan back when you got fucked over in the Olympics, man. <laughs> God damn, did they ruin that. That was terrible. Boxing as a sport is certainly no stranger to controversy. Throughout the 20th and 21st centuries, fans have witnessed decision after decision, which frankly range from the bizarre to the outright scandalous. There is a general consensus that boxing has seen a gradual decline in the last 50 years, and this isn't necessarily alluding to the popularity and viewership of the sweet science. Many stadiums across the world are routinely packed out, and pay-per-view sales fly off the shelves. It instead alludes to a decaying of credibility, legitimacy, a pitfall in its prominence when compared to other spectacles it routinely competes against. And whether you attribute this to a myriad of factors, there is one aspect that has chipped away at the sport. With each passing of wrongful judgement, a part of the greater body suddenly dies, spreading throughout the organism until the whole structure rots from top to bottom. Judges' decisions. But there's no separation. Right. They, I mean, promoters actually that are making the money and have obviously a horse uh, that's running in the game, so to speak, that night, uh, that they want that fighter to win, they pay the judges. This is Richard McLaren's 114-page boxing report, which is essentially an in-depth dive into the corruption shrouding the sport itself. It is based around the International Boxing Association, which sanctions amateur matches, including those bouts held at the Olympic Games. The main topic is the ways in which judges and referees have been influenced in past Olympics before proposing the relevant steps that authorities can take to clean up the sport entirely. But there's one overriding issue, subjectivity. The report initially states that it was eventually realised that it was, except in very rare and extraordinary cases, virtually impossible to determine that a bout had been deliberately manipulated and which officials might be involved. However, the report then cites the use of artificial intelligence to determine whether judges could be subject to corruption. And the fact that 53% of federations feel that match fixing is a problem in the IBA competitions perhaps underlines the absolute necessity behind this AI use in the process. But this begs the question, if AI platforms are being used to vet judges and referees, ultimately isolating individual corruption cases, then why not cut out the middleman? AI Boxing Judge This video was released by a Danish startup company named Yabba. The machine learning engineers have developed an AI called Deep Strike, which seeks to automatically analyze the performance of boxing opponents using camera feeds. It is claimed that this new innovation could render boxing judges entirely void through providing accurate and impartial results in high profile matchups, effectively eliminating the intrigues and elements of doubt underpinning many decisions. The platform uses deep learning to measure 50 distinct metrics, including punch types, punches landed, quality, footwork, aggression, pressure, and more. The technology also measures performance stats, and the software automatically edits and mixes the footage to produce round highlights with zoom, view shifts, and tracking. With corruption rife in the sport, surely the implementation of such a platform is a no-brainer. A simple and efficient way of extinguishing both human error and dishonesty by cutting out the instruments themselves who bring a specific agenda. But unfortunately, it just isn't that clear-cut. Amateur shows all over New York City, and there were nights where I judged anywhere between 20 and 25 fights an entire night for $5, and I was doing this five nights a week. 
People often forget in light of clownish decisions, but judges are experts. They're put through long, drawn out and rigorous processes in order to make it to the summit of the sport, which naturally makes them hugely experienced and perceptive. With the majority having judged hundreds if not thousands of bouts, they comprehend the intricacies of the sweet science, identifying clean punches, elite footwork and spotless technique. Would a computer be able to deploy a similarly necessary level of subjectivity? Those programming the AI are unlikely to be boxing experts after all, and this could have detrimental consequences for the accuracy of the software's point scoring system. Should a hard liver shot merit the same reward as a clean headshot? Should a punch below the belt secure the same points reduction as one to the back of the head? In such a subjective sport, the AI system could begin to crumble. I want to draw your attention again to two of the scoring categories mentioned by Yabba those being quality and footwork. Boxing has appealed to the masses for almost two centuries, partially due to the excitement of watching the matchup of contrasting styles and methods. There have been those boxers who appear to have mastered the sweet science, displaying seemingly flawless technique. Yet there are those who are steeped in history with great boxing legacies that are ultimately sluggers. The toughest fight would be the man who's the hardest to knock out. A fellow who had no style, just a bull, who was rocking Mount Santa. One writer described him as, quote, His style is Neil Caveman. Pressure is his game. He simply lowers his head and charges. Bernard Hopkins has the faster hands. Who would have expected that? Sluggers have been a staple in the sport, often cementing their status through spirited performances as opposed to displaying outright skill. But what if the unorthodox styles fall outside the remit of what the AI judge deems appropriate boxing? A slugger may rely on the resilience of their chin when launching attack after attack, and the AI may duly reprimand them for this. Unoriginal techniques could lead to surprising and unexplainable outcomes as the computer struggles to make sense of the unfamiliarity. The fact that Mayweather just won already increases public interest over this fight, a potential blockbuster purse as well. The 36-year-old will make more money from his fight with Fury than he ever did in his entire career at the UFC. The purse has always been a major staple of boxing, with fighters undergoing rigorous training camps and ultimately putting their long-term health and potentially their life on the line, they are often generously rewarded for entering the ring. Not only do they receive standard earning fees from participating in bouts, but many fighters are rewarded with a winning bonus or additional payment, which can make the winner's payment much larger than the loser's, at times more than double. But this can lead to two possible problems with the implementation of AI. Firstly, due to the large sums involved with the sport, the companies such as Yabba that are programming and implementing the AI could begin to wield enormous amounts of power. Their platforms ultimately become the determining factor behind the split of the purse, which could unfortunately lead to economic or general duress put on the companies by third parties or shady actors. Like in current boxing with the judges themselves being targeted, we may see the corrupt eyes turn to the AI corporations themselves. Secondly, Although the initial AI tests seem promising in determining a less biased outcome, any minor programming error would have seriously costly consequences. Unfortunately, when the margins are so fine and the winnings received are potentially life-changing, there is no room for mistakes, heaping massive pressure upon the entities implementing the AI platforms. This isn't a major reason for not implementing it, but the possible ramifications should certainly be noted. Overall, boxing is a highly subjective sport. If you've ever sat round with friends to watch a close boxing match, it's very rare that the whole group will come to a unanimous decision on who won. With the implementation of AI, it digitizes the whole process and removes the human element, which can be viewed in both a positive and a negative light. Me personally, Having run through the pros and cons, I certainly feel that Yabba's technology may have legs and could go a long way in cleaning up the sweet science, but it should be implemented gradually and work its way up from the amateur levels into the professional bouts. But what do you guys think? I'd be very keen to hear your thoughts in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching, and please leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and uh, I'll hopefully be getting much more content out to you soon. Cheers.